Hi everyone, I, it, I'm with a new camera, I hope it will work, I'm still familiar trying to uh, to learn all the uh, tricks of this new camera, so I hope it will go well. Uh, in my last video I showed you how to make this uh, faux uh, handmade paper. And as I said before, it's addictive, so I kept playing with it. And then I've uh, continued, and instead of using the back, uh, the white layers of uh, a paper napkin, I started to experiment with rice paper. And I made this and put it on my Facebook page, and I was asked how I've done it. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you what I've done with the rice paper, with a few uh, tips and tricks about rice paper. And I hope uh, I will have enough time also to do this kind of uh, cover. And this is a, a simple uh, notebook uh, with hard cover, nothing to it. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm putting uh, this aside for now. And let's talk rice paper. So it, it was uh, by just by a fluke that I started using the rice paper. I had a piece on my table at the time I was experimenting. And I started working with it. So rice paper i love it i don't know how uh, accessible it's to you but it's great uh, stuff i really like how i have fibers inside it uh, it all it really a uh, nice to work with it's even better than the white backing of paper napkins but a uh, white backing of paper napkins are more accessible and cheap so uh, I'm going to show you today how I made uh, this kind because as you can see there are all kinds of colors and interest it's not plain rice paper so what I've done and let me move this aside for a minute I've taken white paper again it was left over that I had on my desk this is uh, it comes in a roll it's like a wrap, the cheapest wrapping paper there is so uh, I just took this, let's take some glue, I <clears throat> let's see, maybe I can work on half of it so it will be easier, yeah, I think we'll take just half so it will be easier and quicker to demonstrate what I've done, and I don't care if it's not straight. Here we go. So, first of all, as I said with the papers uh, that I've shown you in my last video, you can color it, you can stamp it, you can do whatever you want. It's up to your imagination. But what I've done uh, on this, and let's take some brush and glue. I've got here uh, a little bit little diluted glue. I think it's it's approximately a uh, one third water two thirds uh, glue white glue plain so nice amount of glue on this paper and it absorbs it quite quickly this is tea leaves after i use the tea i'm uh, drying it and keeping it so, some tea leaves, you don't have to, you can do glitter, you can do whatever you want. So, I'm putting this, <laughs> not enough space, so I'm putting this aside just for a minute, so I can show you what I've done uh, to make my uh, rice paper more interesting than what it is right now. So, and I think we'll uh, work on this also on a, a smaller piece so it would be easier
Okay, so I'm, I like to crunch it up. I like to have wrinkles. And I think once you add a little bit of paint or stamping, it's more interesting. So I just took one, one or two large stencils. I really didn't care what I'm putting on because it's going to be very, very light. Like so. And one of my sprays, you can try and use a watercolors, whatever you've got. I've got here some brown and I'm putting a very little amount of this. It just needs to, uh, to be random and add interest. So here we go. So you see, I've got in several places something interesting to look at. This needs to dry, uh, but it's not completely soaked. So I think I can manage to put it directly now here. Now, I like to make a really messy, wrinkled, as much as I have because I didn't uh, take a large, a really large piece, but as you can see, big wrinkles. Again, up to you how much texture you like. And just to, to remind you, even after all this dries, you can still work on it. If you are, if you don't like uh, the color, you can spare it spray it again and you can work with watercolors on it whatever you feel like like now it feels to me too white but i'm going to uh, i want to fix it first and seal it with the glue so everything will be in place and when it dries i'm going to add some more color to it Right now, I'm just closing everything and avoiding trying to uh, take care of any air bubbles. So, this is it. This needs to dry completely. Moving it aside. And <laughs> always moving aside things. <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, wipe here a little bit before we have a complete mess and now for another trick with the rice paper so these are pieces that I've colored and I want to show you how to make this effect and I'm going to use it uh, also probably also on the cover uh, and it really as you can you can see all the wrinkles and how the color moved uh, from here to here and I'm going to show you how to make this so this is here and now take something like a plastic bag or any kind of surface that will not uh, absorb the paint and let's do it on this piece so you pick up the color that you want. You need anything that is liquidy. If it's the sprays, if it's uh, watercolors, whatever you have on hand that is uh, liquid and transparent, uh, translucent, not transparent. <laughs> so maybe even if you dilute enough acrylic paint, it will work. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. So let's take, well, let's take the blue. So I'm taking a brush. Let's see. And I'm going to put a line here. Like so. And now I'm going to dip this here and 
I'm going to spray because anything that is liquid and water, like water colors, will go where water is. And this is going to work uh, on rice paper, it can work on uh, paper towels, on napkins, whatever you want. Now, you can also add, if you want more, you can add more on top of your uh, rice paper, like so. You can also change colors. Let's do something more. Let's take some. This is, I think, magenta. Let's see. Just to make it more interesting this time. So, again, taking a brush, I'm going to put it in several places and I haven't sprayed yet more into uh, inside of my rice paper and I forgot uh, to wrinkle this piece but never mind So again, this is and this is quite random. Uh, you just need to let it do its its uh, thing to spread, and of course you need to let it dry completely before you do anything. Now the reason I've told you to put it on a, a plastic bag is that it has a lot of water, and it will take uh, quite some time to dry. So what you're doing with the plastic bag, you can lift it and move it aside. Uh, while the rice paper, you can't lift it when it's uh, wet or it will tear up, tear up. So moving it to dry. And basically that's the trick with the paint that gives you this this kind of uh, coloring and just so you will see I, I think I have an example here let's see uh, this is my one of my junk journals and here I've got the piece uh, in the back of uh, this rice paper and you can see the tea leaves underneath and here, no, where did I use it? <laughs> Here I've got rice paper in the back again with the effect that you can, I've showed you that it's darker here and like this. So this is the rice paper again in the back. And so you, a lot of uh, playing around with this. So now I need for this piece to be completely dry before we are going to cover a notebook so i'll be back i'm back so this is dry now i want to cover a notebook now the the one i showed you had this kind of a hard cover and if you want to uh, cover something like that that is glossy you need to send it first before you are doing anything otherwise uh, the adhering will be iffy and it won't work so well so send it first i am not interested in uh, covering this uh, specific notebook so uh, i'm going to take something else and now a hardcover notebook are not i can't always find them in my cheap store but this kind of plain notebooks if it's with lines or blank like this I can always find and I thought it would be better to show you how to make from this simple thing a, a one notebook with hardcover without any a, trouble and expenses so uh, I hope this is something that you can get anywhere. Uh, I know that there are all 
also what is called composition notebooks that are all also accessible and had have a hard cover so it's another option so taking these and on in this case they are just blank pages and i'm taking uh, the cover the soft cover they have and doing something like this for now of course if you want your notebook to have like dividers in between the three then leave uh, one part of the cover on the inside but i don't want any dividers i want it to look like one a big notebook and yeah let's do three so just taking the cover like this and putting them one on top of the other here are the covers here are the pages so what you are going to do is divide them and now I have like three from for this side and three for this side and now it will give me a hard cover after I will also um, cover it with the paper we made so just so it will be easier and I think no my phone is still working but it made some weird noise I'm really concerned that it won't <laughs> tape a okay we'll see so make your life easier attach this three so it won't move even with a stapler or whatever is accessible to you it will get covered so it doesn't matter if you are using a stapler just make sure that everything is aligned that's the only thing and I'm not really concerned right now so because they are uh, the cover is coming from here and you can see that one is sticking out but it doesn't matter it will get covered so again here making sure everything is in place now it won't move okay so here is the cover and let's see yeah something like that so uh, i like to take a little bit of the corners so it won't i won't have a so it won't be too bulky when i'm going to uh, fold it inside and i'm not concerned about the edges i will show you why in a minute so it's first side and i'm going to use silicone glue this is from my cheap store a uh, the only international brands I know is the Yuhu, or I was told that uh, the clear Eileen Techy Glue is the same. I don't know. We don't have it here, so <laughs> I can't promise you anything. So before I'm starting, I before I'm folding inside, I need to see where uh, the pages uh, end and the cover starts and where here i will put this kind of uh, incision i don't know a cut whatever like this and now i will uh, do the corner first just and again this is uh, how you prefer to work i like the corner to go first We go and now I'm going to put glue here and also here and just fold it inside 
and fold it inside. The reason I've used my rice paper on top of this kind of very cheap and very thin uh, wrapping paper is it's easier to work uh, like right now. It's easier to fold. So this is in place. If you are worried about this moving, put some some clips in place until you're sure it's all stuck. So now I'm moving to the other side and again I'm checking where my pages are ending, putting a cut here, same thing on this side. Now before I'm going to do this, I'm going to take this uh, piece and fold it in. So we'll have a nice finish. Like so. Yeah. So this is again, same thing. I'm going to do the corners. You can also put glue on uh, the whole cover. I feel that it's not needed that everything stays in place without any more glue to the cover. So that's how I <laughs> went about it. Okay, now. Why do I don't care about this? Because I can take the first page and just glue it here and seal it. If I don't want this page, I can take any kind of uh, paper that I want and measure and put a rectangle here. I can measure and put uh, in any piece here. But what I'm uh, going to do is just, as I said, I'm going to flip the first page So stick it in place. Moving to the other side, doing the same thing. Everything is in place, nice easy here we go so now for the extra embellishment let's see how do I want it I want it to go like this and I am thinking let's find something that will go with this maybe maybe nope Maybe we'll see. <laughs> this is interesting. As you can see, I haven't planned. Just go with the flow. Maybe this one. Yeah, quite interesting. Okay, so what I'm about to do, and I think I want to add more interest than I've done in the other one. I think I will add more of the of this. I really like this color, and I think it will be nice with this background. So. 
Now I'm going to take a paintbrush, a fine paintbrush with a little bit of water. It's the same thing as with paper napkins. If you want to tear a, and to have not straight edges, and I really like how it goes with that we have I have fibers here from the rice paper so that's what I'm going for and a little bit more I don't think I need this whole thing but we'll see so basically I want it like this going around and so again I'm going to tear it here yeah so now I'm going to apply more white glue I'm going to go over it I want it sealed especially because I have the sprays here and I want to make sure that nothing will spread and go wherever it <laughs> where it shouldn't be. And on top. I'm holding it because now it's wet underneath. And I'm also trying to have some wrinkles, just an added bonus. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to uh, put it like this. And now I want to add the same thing I've done here. And this is just a piece from one of those uh, papers I've made. And I'm just tearing it. I don't want straight edges. I'm going for this white. I will show you why in a minute. And keep this. Don't throw it away. This will make a very great border for another page in, an, uh, in uh, your art journal. So... I'm trying to go a little bit wavy with this steering. Yeah. And now I'm going to take some uh, twine, jute, or you can use raffia, whatever you've got on hand. And just so I will have something for the closure. You can add beads, you can add whatever you want, ribbons, uh, lace, lace streams. It will go uh, nicely with this rugged uh, look. So flipping it over, putting some, eh, before I will do this, like I want to ink the edges. Almost forgot. And let's go with... Uh, I've got Distress Ink Round Espresso, so I'm going to ink the edges, I think it's more interesting this way. And that's why I went for uh, the white when you tear it because it takes uh, better the ink. I can also put it down like this and go over whatever is more uh, works for you.
Okay, so I'm going to continue uh, inking uh, around it. And basically, I'm just going to take the twine, put uh, some glue here, and some glue here, and attach it. When it and then I will attach it to my um, <laughs> to my notebook. Uh, so I'm going to uh, continue inking around the edges. I'm going to uh, wait for this to be a little bit more dry so I can continue working and I'll be back. I'm back. So uh, finished uh, <laughs> inking around the, the edges. Put the uh, jute on this side, the both sides, and I went all around my piece with my silicone glue. And now I'm just going to attach it here. And I think I've made a mistake because this is a, a little bit uh, wider than I wanted. I wanted this to pick, and now I'm debating if I want to tear it and put ink again or just yeah it's better to do it now <laughs> i made a mistake so i need to fix it okay here we go so again Inking. Let's hope I can do it fast. Okay, just a little bit blue. Flipping it over. I'm starting from the middle here and going like this. And here we go. And I haven't done this in the other notebook, but I'm thinking that I can also go and add just a little bit of inking on the edges like this and it would look even better and i can also go in just several places where i have the uh, bigger creases that i've done with the rice paper so I'm holding it in place, it's still sticky, still uh, with uh, glue and I'm thinking I'm going to let it dry, come back and this would be uh, basically it. <laughs> so I'll be back when everything is done and uh, dry. I'm back. So. This is dry, this is finished, and here it is. Oh, I've inked all around the edges and also a little bit here on the spine just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, old, vintage, or rugged, whatever. And here are uh, the three uh, notebooks that I uh, combined together. And while I was waiting for this to dry, I used my leftovers and I wanted to show you, I told you, don't uh, throw away what we tore. And here it is one edge. Uh, here is a nice border. And I've put the, this is the rice paper from here. Here is the leftover. Uh, I've uh, glued it to the back some stamping and this 
and I had a little bit more uh, from uh, when I had to tear a little bit uh, from this piece I, I just glued it here and here is another piece so you can use it in a lot of stuff so this is it and here is my uh, notebook cover I hope you've enjoyed it I will uh, be sure to put a link below if you stumbled upon this video I will put a link below to how to make this uh, kind of papers and this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.